Hello and welcome to the Money Guides. First, how can you earn money? There are a couple of ways of making money, but the main and easier way of doing this is through selling or shipping items. All you need is a shipping bin and enough items to start earning your money. The second way of earning a certain amount of money is through becoming an important person in the server or a player with a power position, for example, becoming the sheriff of the server you're playing at will allow you to earn a few extra things. For that you must travel to Tombstone Town and take the sheriff's place to become the sheriff yourself. From time to time you'll be awarded with your payment for having that role, just open your sheriff's safe and collect the money. The amount of money you'll get depends on the decision of the current president, who can choose how much money you as a sheriff can earn. The amount varies between 5 and 25 dollars. But let's keep talking about the main and probably the more profitable way of making money, through shipping items. In your early gameplay you are able to handcraft up to 3 shipping bins, which you can place at your base and start using whenever you need to. You can later upgrade your shipping bin to level 2 and then 3, which means your shipping bin will have more available slots to hold more items at a time. The process of shipping and receiving or selling and buying items through a shipping bin only takes a little more than just a minute to complete. But which items should you be selling through the shipping bin? If you ever played Stardew Valley, it has something almost similar to that game. It has a shipping bin that gives you the ability of shipping items in exchange for money. But not every item can be or should be sold through it. If you over your mouse over an item you got in your inventory, you'll find out if you can sell it or not. If in the item properties window doesn't show up the item value, it's because you cannot sell it. Although you may be able to sell mostly of your belongings, especially harvestable resources and crafted items. However, you should not be selling everything you can just because your items have a certain value. Some things are way too cheap or are needed to unlock or craft a variety of things and just in case those things are rare, make sure to think well before you sell them. What should you be really shipping and selling through the shipping bin if you want to get a good amount of money easily? First, let's talk about the flowers. Flowers can be simply found in several areas through the map and you can easily gather them through your journey. The most common flower that you should be picking up and sell later is really the red poppy. Red poppies can be found frequently in many kinds of biomes on the map. You should be really picking up those since after the first times you spawn in a server map. Tobacco leaves are also common, not as common as poppies but still pretty common and you can still find these in several areas of the map and uh, they are also worth some money, so just pick them up. My favorite plant, or flower in this case, is really the rose. Roses can be found in a few biomes, actually in plenty biomes probably, not as much as poppies can be found, but uh, roses are still a common flower. For example, down southwest of the map is one of the several spots you'll find roses quite often. You can find four variants of rose bushes. The red rose bushes, the pink rose ones, rose hip bushes or another variant that can be eventually found in other kinds of biomes as well. You'll also be finding several different kinds of flowers through the place. Some are a little cheaper than these ones though. Let's see how much these three things I've mentioned previously cost per unit and per stack. A tobacco leaf costs about $1.30. Red poppy 140 and rose 2.43 dollars which makes it more expensive than the previous ones and that's why it's my favorite choice. If you check the price of a stack of 25 you'll see the reason why it is worth so much selling this. You are also free to sell other kinds of resources but double check which ones are worth selling. 
I found out by my own that saltpeter may be a good choice to earn money at times. You'll get a small amount of this resource randomly while mining rocks, and a good amount if you mine a saltpeter node or an iron and saltpeter node as well. You should be using this resource later to unlock or craft a couple of things, though while not using it and accumulating stacks in your container, you can always easily sell a stack of 50 for about $30. And one unit only costs about 60 cents, that's why you should sell these things in stacks for make it worth, okay? Another way of making money is through selling animal goods, like their skins, giblets or meat. Some pelts or skins may not be worth selling though, as they are quite cheap. While others can be a little expensive, though, just in case you want to use these skins to unlock or craft anything from this section of the tech tree, just don't sell them, okay? Just keep accumulating them in your containers until you are able to unlock these things. If you sell cooked giblets and cooked meat before they start to spoil, you'll get some money as well. Beware of the fact that if they start to spoil or you're trying to sell them just raw, they will cost a little less money. A bigger amount of money can be earned through geodes, but this is all a matter of having some luck and keep mining rocks for a chance of earning some good money. There are different kinds of geodes and every of them will be dropping from a rock node rarely and randomly. If you keep harvesting resources through mining, you'll have bigger chances of having some geodes dropping for you, one at a time, of course. You should be using specifically a campfire that can be level 1, 2 or 3 to crack these geodes. Just put them in the fire for a few seconds and you'll be hearing a small explosion. The geodes will crack and drop to the ground a random special stone. Make sure to keep an eye at the surrounding area of the campfire to see where the stone fell at. You will be getting one stone per geode and geodes can drop several different types of stones. Parites, coral, silver, rubies and even diamonds are some of the nice things that you can get from this. Every of them have their own value of course and if you get lucky enough you can get one of the most precious stones around like for example the diamond that costs about $300. I got a couple of them already in my normal gameplay and it was a really great day for me in the game and this is definitely a huge help in advancing in your gameplay. Last but not least, there is a chance it is worth to sell some of your farm goods, but I did not have enough time yet to use the farming feature in this game, but just give it a try later. You can spend your money in several things in this game. One of the things, and probably the most important, is in your claimed lands. Once you own a property and have a land claim flag, you should be recharging it with money in order to pay the land property taxes and prevent a fast building decay. Make sure to have enough money in your land claim flags so you can own your piece of land for a longer time. The property taxes may vary though. The president is able to increase or decrease the property taxes for the civilians playing on the server at any time, from 0% to 10%. 10% will make people a little mad, okay? Just in case you are in a power position, meaning just in case you're the server, chief, sheriff, governor or president, you'll be paying lower taxes. Other thing you can spend your money at is really through the shipping bin, just check the catalog to browse for a big variety of goods you can buy with your own money. Though be aware of the fact that some of these things can be very expensive for the amount you get, and may not be worth buying, even if it takes a while to get them through normal ways. Though one of the things that may be worth for you to buy for example is clay. A clay unit is quite cheap actually, which means that you can easily order for example about 888 units of clay for around $34 or something. It's what I usually order in my normal gameplay. 
Just in case you want to have a baby in your family, but don't want or simply can't have your own baby, you can also adopt one through the catalog by buying the baby baskets. Something that you really must do in order to progress is to spend money to unlock certain kinds of items in the tech trees. Some require you to spend a certain amount of money, including owning certain resources to be unlocked. So save as much as you need for these things. At the newspaper, there are a couple of things that you can spend your money on. If you want to publish an ad, for example, you head over to the classifieds section and pay about $5 to post one, so anyone in the server can see it. But just in case you're feeling lucky, you can try winning the lottery by purchasing tickets to apply for the next draw, or even buying some scratch cards in exchange for cool little big things or simple to waste all your money. Every of these cards will give you a chance of winning different things. You don't really need skills, all you need is money and luck. For $10, the Lucky Loot Scratcher will give you a chance of winning money as a prize. The $5 Golden Ticket Scratcher will let you win a random ore or even a geode or a precious stone. And the $1 Sleight of Hand is all about winning different kinds of foods. Last but not least, you should be able to make some good deals with other players. If you can trust them enough to make some trades with them, of course. Thanks so much for watching this video, have a wonderful day and may the luck be with you.